All right, guys, so I contacted Drew Kinder of Seed Superstore and I asked him if it was possible for Kentucky bluegrass to actually germinate in seven days. And I also asked, well, if it can, why does everybody say uh, 14 days or 30 days? And uh, his answer was interesting. So basically he said it can happen, um, but generally they say three weeks because that's when it's gonna germinate for sure. Now, you gotta think about it, the seed guys, they're not gonna sell you seed and say, hey, in seven days you're gonna have a great lawn because you know the different circumstances are different. So, that begs the question, why is it coming in in seven days? Well, he gave me some tips. He said, if the seed is closer to the surface, it's gonna germinate faster. If it's warmer, so like warmer weather, it's gonna germinate faster. If it's always moist, it's gonna germinate faster. So those three things I've got going for me. Um, it's actually, I think it was 80 or 90 degrees today. It's been in the 80s this past week. It's been overcast and it's been rainy and drizzly. Plus I've been irrigating five times a day when it's not raining. So I have a very moist environment. It's been very warm. And then if you remember, I didn't dig up the soil, plant the seed, and then rake it in. I put it on top and rolled it into the soil. So that combined with the peat moss is keeping it really moist and it's right at the top. Now I also did the uh, soil moist seed coat, which doesn't actually affect the germination if you're watering as much as I am. But I guess I asked some uh, guys in a lawn forum and they said it's more of a backup plan. So the, the seed coat um, seems to do better if uh, you're having watering issues or you forget to water or say the sprinkler's messed up or whatever. It keeps the moisture there longer. So there you have it, it's possible. Now obviously it's not fully germinated, so don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is perfect. Oh, also another thing, he said it depends on the varieties. So you can look up uh, specific cultivars in NTEP, I think it's NTEP.org, N-T-E-P.org, and some will germinate faster than others. So I do want to look up the varieties that I have. It's uh, Bewitched, Blue Velvet, and Prosperity. And so I'd be curious to see because maybe this is one of those varieties and the other two aren't going to be germinating until the 30 day mark. Who knows? Um, Oh, but that brings up another point. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but the lawn care nut actually commented in one of the videos and uh, he made a good point about watering. You know, if you do a mix with different grasses in it um, and there's bluegrass in it, if the bluegrass takes 30 days, but you stopped watering because you saw a grass start to come up, that bluegrass might act actually germinate. So it's important to water um, the full 30 days. I mean, obviously it's new grass, you're gonna water after that too, but you're watering it for germination for 30 days. Um, so that way it all can germinate and come up. So it's kind of interesting. I, I mean, I'm, I'm learning a lot of stuff through this experience. I hope you guys are too. Um, and I appreciate the comments even, you know, I've had a, a lot of people ask me questions and say, oh, I'm not trying to like start something. I don't mind. You know, ask away because if I don't know the answer, I'll try to find out. And even if we disagree on methods, you know, there's a guy going back and forth with me on one of the videos about whether shampoo on your lawn works or not. Um, you know, I'm fine with that. I'm cool if you got a different opinion if you want to talk about it. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the video. And now you can see why I'm standing in this corner, I'm trying not to get sprayed. I had the video all done, and uh, when I went to go edit it, I realized I was having a really rough time this morning concentrating. Every car that went by, every bird, everything made me lose track of my thoughts, so I had to shoot at the end. So let's go into, ooh, the, something I did this morning is, I wanna show you guys just how short the grass is. All right, let's see. So, I zoomed in. But if you look, they're tiny babies. So I also don't know. Ah! 
I also don't know if you guys thought the grass was a lot taller than it was because I zoomed in, but I figure I'll show you. It's just a little fuzz and it's, I won't lie, it's really exciting to see it popping up. So <laughs> I was getting a little worried there.